where it was always intended that Jonathan Palmer should present the trophies to the top three. And so Jonathan Palmer, to make the presentation, thanks very much, instruction from the boss. Jonathan Palmer to make the presentation to his son, Julian Palmer, on his first win in Formula 2. An historic moment, there's big smiles for all the pair of them. Very well done to Julian Palmer in second place on his debut in Formula 2. Also on his debut in Formula 2 from Russia, Sergei Avnafiev. And now, guys, uh, we will have the champagne. But uh, you don't have to spray it because you've got another race today. So, Sergei, a little bit worried about the ball three. But uh, yeah, they're going to spray it over the uh, balcony. I think I've got a chance for a quick word. First of all, I think it's Jonathan. Your thoughts on the Bulgarians' first win, and of course, the success of Formula 2. Well, firstly, obviously, I'm extremely proud. I think you've done a very, very good job. And uh, you know, second year of Formula 2, we obviously expected a decrease in performance this year. Still, the top three is still a good one. You went very much to the Palmer Audi last year. He's gone quickly over the winter. He's been still this and that. I think he's done a good one. But no, I think it's done very well to get the ball position. We were very excited yesterday. Um, but of course, it's the start of a very long season. But I'm particularly pleased. I think the other guys, Dean Stoneman, has done a terrific job uh, coming in from Renault, which is, again, it's his first season moving up from Formula Renault to be fighting, I mean, fighting for the lead of his first Formula 2 race. Uh, we well over twice the horsepower is a great achievement. He's clearly going to be a major championship challenger. And, uh, and Sergei has a pick them up as they come through to complete the lap but the two black cars the head of the field running very closely together and then Rob's yeah. just in third. Thanks Ben so uh, I've gone back to the box but the BMWs straight up into their race without uh, a green flag lap as was the case yesterday so uh, waiting for them uh, up here uh, we don't have TV coverage for this but Robin Welsh uh, then uh, who was on the front row of the grid leading the race at the moment yesterday he had to uh, give best to Tim Wilson but the roles at the moment are reversed as they come out of Nuffield for the first time. Yesterday uh, we had a race uh, that...
and looks as though certainly Tim Wilson and Rob Smith still in contention. In fact, the two of them this time, yes, it has got up a little bit by a length because Tim Wilson not able to make, try and get level with Robin Welsh as they came out of Brooklands. Uh, now head up towards the field on this uh, fourth lap. And the gap between first and second about a length, a length and a half. So Welsh wins the race. He's got a little bit as he took the flag, which means that last lap may not be a good one. 